Hello, Helena. It's Emily McVeigh, Executive Director of the United Way of the Lewis and Clark area. And we are here this week talking about dueling pianos. We've got quite the crowd, so I'm going to let everybody introduce themselves. We'll start over here with... I'm Mark Johnston with the Carroll College Saints Athletic Association. Welcome. I'm Renee Bauer with Family Promise of Greater Helena. Thank you. Ryan Luco, Impact Montana Executive Director. Great. Dave Burningham, previous attendee. <laughs> Rocky and Fenger with R Lewis and Clark Rural Fire Council. All right, welcome guys. So we have a lot of people here. Tell me what amazing thing is happening that has brought so many different agencies together and what, what we're doing with this project. Renee, I think that's for you. Well, thanks. <laughs> um, so we are all um, leaders or, or participants with organizations who are the challenging people uh, or organizations with dueling pianos. It is one of the funnest events and neatest things that happens in the Helena area. We have a very good time. We do it to raise money for our organizations and, uh, and just have a great time. All right. So for someone who's never attended, Describe what you can expect the evening to be. So I'm excited to learn because I'm going for the first time this year. So what does that look like? Well, I got to tell you, it, well, they've done it for 10 years, so this is not a one-hit wonder. This is um, fabulous. It's fun. One thing you want to know is the dress code. I'm going to call it Montana semi-formal. You can come <laughs> casual in jeans. The girls can get dressed to the nines and show up. A couple can show up with a suit and tie. Or you know, I mean, it's something for everyone, and you can dress however you want. And the entertainment is crazy fun because it's never the same. There, there's always different entertainers, but it's never the same because the music is driven by people going up and requesting a song. Oh, fun. That is fun. And then, I mean, I don't know, one of the amazing things I find is that, you know, it's two groups against each other, so it's kind of like, it, it's kind of like a football game, but a heck of a lot more fun, <laughs> and nobody has to get injured and hauled off the field. Nobody has to sweat, <clears throat> unless you want to. Oh, no. we'll sweat. And, <laughs> we'll sweat. <laughs> and at this event, um, even local people can show off their talent because there will be like a challenge or somebody can get up and sing with the piano players and I've heard Def Leppard up sing in there and Bonnie Raid or you know sure sounded like them and they were just absolutely incredible so there's a lot of talent here in town and it's something that people sing along and people like me that are not a singer, I can still stand there and have a good time and mouth the words and nobody has to hear you know, <laughs> my voice. So and that's always a good thing. But it's um, just a fabulous, great event and it helps raise a lot of money. For, and it's, I don't know, I think the biggest thing is it is a ton of fun. It's something mm -hmm. that anyone and everyone can go to. And I was telling a couple of people earlier that I went the first year and I just showed up at the door and it was sold out, and every year it's sold out. So that's what you get when you get there is a ton of fun, but you got to make sure you have your spot. You don't, mm -hmm. you can't just show up. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's a question later, but we'll get there. <laughs> all right. So it is about fundraising. So you all can share with me what you do with the. Um, what's your mission of your organization? What do you do with the money that's raised? We'll start over here. So the Lewis and Clark Rural Fire Council represents 13 departments within the county, and we also have members. Uh, Search and Rescue is a member. The Sheriff's Office is a member. We have a um, member, uh, because they're so close to us, Montana City Fire, um, just south of us. And we support each other and the other organizations. So if we were to have a big, large event, uh, Council helps provide meals to those at the early stages of, of fires or incidents, um, help some of the smaller departments where we can. Um, we have a mutual aid agreement within the fire council, uh, we'll, and they're kind of pre-made plans. All they have to do is call for mutual aid, whether it's wildland, structure, medical, or whatever, and it's already pre-established who will send what. and. That's what we do. We support each other however we can during events and um, you know we're all in it together. So that's our mission is to um, make sure that 
you have resources regardless mm -hmm. of where you may be. They may be a little slower on coming. I'm up in Wolf Creek and we utilize the Rural Fire Council a lot. We have a small department. We have, uh, if we have a large event, we have to call for mutual aid and, and it's awesome. Um, what we get, we can end up with 60 firefighters in a very short period of time. Mm -hmm. so. Which is more people than live in Wolf Creek, probably. Pretty much, <laughs> yeah. yeah. But you use the funds that you raise to help buy supplies and right. fight yeah. the fires and do all the yeah. things. That Whatever keep we safe. need, um, if we have some repeaters, the fire council has some radio repeaters. If one of those was to go down, they're very expensive. Uh, but we have funding that we use this type of funding to uh, replace, repair. Um, those type of things. Um, you know, we've got into mobile sap phones if we've got to go somewhere. Um, last year, uh, end of the year, we ended up sending a strike team out of Lewis and Clark County up to Denton to that fire they had in Denton. Mm -hmm. So we will go where we're asked to go and uh, are prepared to, and that's where the fire council will help. We'll help if we need to get a room for those guys or, or feed them or fuel or or whatever, so okay. yeah, it, it benefits everybody. Good. So yeah, it's awesome. Okay. Did you have anything you want to share? I don't want to skip you. <laughs> <laughs> well, I want to say that I do love events in Helena that raise money for nonprofits, and this is this is one of the really special fun ones in my heart, but. There are a lot of not-for-profits, and as you <laughs> know, are. that put on some great events, and so I love supporting all of it. Helen is my love town. Very giving. Yeah. Oh God, yes. Yeah. All right, Ryan. Yeah. So uh, our mission is essentially just to help uh, support uh, vets, current military, first responders, and their families. Uh, in their ability to thrive. So obviously that's very broad scope uh, and that's the beauty of what we're doing. It's it's taking somebody that comes to us asking for a hand up uh, and really just kind of walking through that process, helping them identify what it is they are looking for to get them to, you know, maybe point B or maybe it's even point Z uh, and then just working with them to help them get there. And uh, we do that through a very uh, extensive service partner network. Um, we've got uh, service partners all over the state, but really really uh, 16 strong here in Helena um, that fall into that integrative health um, uh, variety. So those entities offer uh, modalities uh, to complement other medical support systems, but uh, those modalities look like uh, hyperbaric chamber therapy, biofeedback, sensory deprivation, cryotherapy, you name it. And if it falls in the integrative health space, uh, we have essentially access to it. And so the funds that we raise, uh, because we don't solicit any kind of government funding, it's all organically generated or raised here in Montana. This event really is, is how we um, raise the money to help pay for those services uh, that we're offering um, to support families with. So awesome opportunity. This is our third year. Um, three years ago, so the first year um, was a very uh, generous night and really kind of just catapulted us to get to the point where we could really do this on a, on a strong level. So I love dueling pianos. It's a, it's a great, great time and uh, for a great cause. So, yeah. Four great causes. Yes, four <laughs> great causes, absolutely. <laughs> So, Family Promise of Greater Helena is a challenger this year, so it is our first year. We have not done this before. We're really excited. Um, our program provides shelter, emergency shelter for children and their families. And then we do wraparound services to complement that and with the goal of having those families um, obtain sustainable, long-term, permanent housing within our community. We've been busy this year. We've served 91 families, and that's about three times what we have done annually in, than in the past. So uh, I'd love to not have our services be necessary, but uh, the need seems to be increasing. The monies that we use, uh, the monies that we raise through this event will go towards direct support of our families. All right, and Mark. 
Well, Carroll College uh, Saints Athletic Association is the uh, chief fundraising arm for athletic scholarships and anybody that has a student athlete in school realizes how much things cost nowadays. So the more that we can raise uh, through ath any athletic funding, we have four events that we do. Our largest is our, our auction in April and then we do a boat poker run in the summer. Canyon Ferry, we do a golf tournament at Green Meadow Country Club and then we do a shindig that we just finished up that was a re new record this year. Uh, it's a reverse raffle during the ch uh, college championship football game. Uh, last year was our first year at Dueling Pianos and we had a, one of our SAA board members that kind of connected us with Gina and we were graciously offered a spot in there as a challenger and so basically this year it gives us five events and what we do with our athletic scholarships is make a commitment each year to what we are going to pledge for scholarships and then we, through our nonprofit board of 30 members, we try to raise that money. And as Dave said, probably one of the funnest fundraisers that we ever do. Uh, I went there the first few times as just a fan and then now to be a part of it, uh, it's just a great, great event uh, and it goes to a lot of good stuff. When we, when we hit our scholarship goal, we also use some of the money that we have for things that would benefit all athletes, you know, might be an additional uh, machine or something in the weight room or different things that help with the training and recovery that covers all athletes. Uh, something maybe with facility that helps all athletes, uh, you know, so it's money uh, that we need and uh, we we're sure lucky to be there and be one of the competitors and again it's a fun event but to have a little competition along with it really uh, kind of is the icing on the cake actually. So love being there and very grateful. Tell us, tell us a little bit about how the crowd gets involved in the party. Uh, it, it's pretty interesting because everybody starts out a little quiet <laughs> and it just does, Gina runs a unbelievable schedule on the event to keep things going and it just boom, boom, boom and pretty soon people have had a couple of cocktails and everybody <laughs> can sing and everybody can dance <laughs> and it's really fun. It's, it's, it's similar to I think everybody's experience to dueling piano in Las Vegas or in, in a big city city uh, and they play really good music that people request that most people know all of the words uh, so a good hour and a half into it uh, it's it's pretty festive uh, and, it, and it just it's amazing they do a great job there's food you know for people to have you know uh, to eat uh, there's just a lot of challenges that go along that just keep the night raising money uh, it involves your group that's there to help you a little bit so everybody kind of has a little bit of a job to do uh, and again it's it's the probably the fastest three hours that uh, you could ever imagine at an event uh, it would be fun to go longer but I see why we quit at 11. <laughs> <laughs> we all need to be in bed. <laughs> yeah. yeah it goes pretty it gets pretty fun. Um, so can you just show up at the door and get in? Is that gonna happen this year? No. <laughs> yeah. I, well, I've been every year, and yeah. the one thing I gotta make sure everybody knows is it always sells out early, and mm -hmm. so you, you, you reserve a table. They, it's not like stadium seating. It's mm -hmm. you have a table, table of four, table of eight, and then they also have some other options of smaller tables, mm -hmm. but, um, yeah, the earlier you get your tickets and reserve your table, the better because it will sell out and to think that two weeks before you get together with your friends and go, hey, we should go do that, it might be too late. Yeah. So mm -hmm. this is a fun event that's something for everyone mm -hmm. and it really supports four great causes here too. So I mean, it's, this year is a great opportunity for people to get out, it's perfect timing. End of February, it's gonna be, Fun, but reserve your seat early. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because we've got about a month. Yeah. So somebody give me the breakdown, who, the, when it is, what the dates are, who's competing on what nights, all yep. that. Yeah, you bet I'll do that. Uh, so Friday night, it's uh, the Saints Athletic Association and the Rural Fire Council. 
Um, so Friday night, when you go to the uh, Fun Events website to get tickets, you actually designate which night you want to attend and which organization you are selecting, and you can actually split it 50-50 uh, mm -hmm. to support both causes. And then uh, on Saturday night, it's Family Promise and Impact Montana. Uh, so same thing, when you go to the website, you just uh, select which organization or both and uh, get your tickets. Um, there are, um, yeah, there are a handful of tables left, but uh, they're going they're going relatively fast. All the uh, marketing stuff is up around town now, mm -hmm. so um, I think it's going to sell out here sooner than later. So, what are the dates? Uh, February twenty fourth, the Friday night. Sorry, <laughs> uh, February twenty fourth, uh, Friday night, and then the twenty fifth, Saturday. Okay, in the evening, yep. and then there are a variety of price points, so you can spend yep. a lot to be up front or a little less to be out in the back. Yeah, it's it's a little bit more to be up front. So the, the tables around the pianos uh, players. It's not mm, that expensive. Yeah, those are $55 <laughs> uh, a piece seats at the table. So tables of four that are that are surrounding the uh, piano players. So it's uh, 220 I believe, for a table of four. And then uh, from there, it's um, tables of 10. So those are $45 uh, seats, so 450 for a table mm -hmm. of 10. And then the um, the tables of four that are on the perimeter of the room are 180, so $45 uh, mm. per seat. So if you don't have uh, a group of 10 or four, um, you know, just start pounding the pavement and finding those people mm. to join you and, and get a table. I guarantee you there's going to be people that are going to want to join you. Uh, and there's really not a bad seat in the house. No. no. Yeah, they're all, it's a, it's a, it's laid out very nice and, you know, it's, it's not, they, they cut the attendance back a little bit when it used to just be one night. Uh, so it's, it's crowded, which is fun, but it's, you can get around in there well, so which really makes it nice. It makes it nice to be able to get to the, you know, the pianos for your song requests and things like that and your donations. So it's just, it's done very professionally. And where is the dueling pianos held? Uh, Best Western Great Northern. All right. Mm -hmm. Um, and then, I know I had another question. Does anybody else have anything they want to add before we sign off? Just looking forward to it. Yeah. 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 It'll never be attended fun. one before and mm -hmm. heard great reviews on it, so. How about the go. website that you go to to buy tickets? Funeventsmt.com, uh, I believe. It's on Facebook. It is on Facebook. Yes, it is. Each of our organizations have it on Facebook, mm -hmm. and, and uh, there's a Fun Events uh, page as well on Facebook. So mm -hmm. you get out on social media, you're bound to find it. Okay. Yeah. Any last comments before we sign off? Go firefighters. Go <laughs> <laughs> say so. Yeah. All right, the competition has begun. Yeah. All right, thank you, Helena, for joining us. We'll see you again next week.